We're getting stuck in there. Alrighty, let's do this. Let's do this, shall we? Hello guys, welcome to Captain Try Hard. This time, I honestly will try harder than I normally do. So that actually has the bar fairly low, but slightly higher. Shit, got a Grim Ghost on my team. And we're missing out on Grimmer Gorario on the enemy team. And Joe Oh No, who seems to be on the enemy team at level 1. Bloody Grimrock Ghost. Seriously, get yourself a new computer, mate. Well, as usual, random equals undead. So that means you're pretty much going to get fiend imbalance. So loads of control from me. However, this is going to be a fiend imbalance that allows me to get an expansion. Preferably this one over here. Because I want to go powerful mass fiends and frost worms. I want to show you just how I'm... Freaking imbalanced undead can be basically. So well, let's do that. Let's do that this game. I think we'll put a crypt there. You can always fit a cigarette there anyway to block it. The crypt can kind of leave a little gap for units to sneak out. Eh, it's not that try hard, but it's a little bit. It's a little bit of foresight. Maybe it's gonna you know screw me over in the long run, who knows? And if things go really well, what I might do actually is have the altar up there. And then have a row of cigarettes here. It's a sort of like strong defense. So, a few cigarettes there, cigarette there, and then a cigarette underneath there. If I really need that many to help keep me alive, but it shouldn't be that bad. Let's start off putting one here. My fate is sealed. That should block that off. And if I put another one here afterwards, a blade master shouldn't be able to get into my base. So, that's the main thing, really. Fix the stream. Stream is fine. I don't see anyone complaining about anything in the patch, or not in the patch, in the stream. So, uh, stream's your fault, mate. It seems to be working fine for me, as far as I can tell. Right, I should probably take a note as to what my other races are, or what my other allies are doing. One, two, three, there we go. So that's free for the cigarette. No need to spam sort of hotkeys here or anything like that. It's not exactly that hard. Wait for the cigarette. And then we go. Right, there you go. So, a human over here looks fine. Orc over here looks alright. Orc over here looks dodgy. And, uh, yeah, move into yes. that next cigarette before the Blade Master gets into my base. Pull that up a bit. There we go. Uh, I still haven't got the right balance of having a microphone that feels comfortable and not in the fucking way like I'm breathing in it all the time. It's kind of how it feels. A bit weird. A bit weird, mate. Breathing into your soul. So I get a couple of fiends. I could have actually gone into ghoul here just to get some more wood for the actual expansion, but I might actually still concentrate on getting the tech first because it's always good to have the tech flowing. Because if you spend too much time trying to get an, uh, an expansion, you never end up getting the tech for it. And it's kind of really important to get the tech in as an undead. Right. That cigarette has gone up. Ghoul onto wood for now. Acolyte to join me. Because I may still go and open up. Red can do that if he wants. I mean, it might help him if I'm there as well, but screw it. Screw him. I don't like that Grimrock Ghost guy. Oh, I've got to put the um, health bars back on. That's going to help. Right, I'm going to go back into more ghouls, actually. Because we are going to take this expansion kind of seriously. So wood is going to be more necessary. Plus, it means that you can get enough acolytes without having to build another cigarette. Now, you can take two approaches here. Just nuke the big guy, but he constantly does healing wave. So you could just potentially nuke the little ones. And if you take their numbers down, then his healing wave won't be anywhere near as effective. But really, whatever happens, you're going to get screwed on this guy. He, he is a pain in the butt, especially if you haven't focused on that many things. He's only got a couple more healing waves at that. Yeah, one more healing wave. So it's not really the biggest deal. Keep getting acolytes because you want to tech as soon as you can as well. One more skeleton rod for luck. Acolytes are still coming through. Right, we can probably go and whilst we're here. Hmm. 
Do you mind stealing my experience? Only as try hard as Grimrock is making it for me. Right, okay, so the Acolytes are all out. That means basically tech next. Got four ghouls and wood, which is a good solid amount to have. Just going to check and see if the enemy are doing anything sneaky. If they're not doing it here, they're probably doing it in the middle. Yeah. Don't want to send the whole army into aggro there. Just one. And then what we'll do is get cigarettes here as well. Although you could always build the cigarettes earlier in the base. It really doesn't matter that much. They haven't started... or well, they just started now. Somewhat unintentionally. Just draw them back. Because you don't know what you're dealing with. That looks like three armies to me, so probably a wise idea to pull back from this one. Soon as this goes up, I want to build a bunch of cigarettes so that I don't lose my hard work and expansion. Just poking away a little bit here. But not committing too much. And then I probably might even build a shop in front of it as well, just to really protect it. Although I say that really protects it, you might be better off just building um, a crypt because that's 1300 health. It depends how you want to take it. But this is three armies here to do one small expansion, so it's not really that effective for them to all be here. And especially if we're slowing them down, it's not all that good. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to be getting upgrades because now I've got the expansion and I've got the tech underway. I'm not able to put resources into units yet because I'm capped on food, so I'm going to have tons of spare resources. This is a part where you could actually give it to allies, if you like them, but you don't, so you're not going to. Right, now we're just going to go and poke at their main base, because that just draws them in. That makes them want to either come back to their own base. You're just basically wasting time here. I'm not doing anything to kill them. I might invest in a second crypt or not, and just really save up for those mass frost worms. I'm probably going to really save up for those mass frost worms. It's kind of risky. It much prob mu probably much better. I would too. I'll get the second. No, I won't. I'll actually get statues there. I'll get a slaughterhouse there instead. That'll help block it off. We'll look for some human units to kill. Just for some experience whilst we're here. Because you get good experience. This is better than creeping, really, if you can get away with it. And there goes my expansion, maybe. Unfortunately, this is going to be free armies, so that sucks. It's always going to be me, isn't it, that gets focused in these games. Even when I'm going to their main base, trying to draw them in. Just fucking lost the fiends there, trying to concentrate on this. Fuck it, I'm teleporting to that, even if it's only my hero. I'm not having this shit. I'm not fucking losing my fucking expansion every fucking time. Fuck this shit. Tech up. Don't know why I always have to be the one that loses my expansion. Fuck these guys. Come on, help defend. Got a bunch of defences here, so we should be in a really good spot to fuck them over. Gonna even use that raw just to really make sure we don't lose this expansion, because this expansion wins the game, basically. With Frostworms, so this guy can go fuck himself. Do you want to be that dick? Only level one coils, but it's gonna be enough. Nice towers over here as well. So that means that's saved. Grim's having an easy time over there. Gonna just double check and see if they took an expansion. No, I can't even finish that guy off. Too powerful. So yeah, there you go. There's my resources really just being spent on that. Ghouls just keep bringing in the wood. Gonna need as much. Oh, hello. There is something over here. I can slowly DPS it. Not particularly effective. Oh, footmen are a pretty good counter to that, actually. Haven't got a solid way to deal with that. I might actually get one more ghoul, just because I know how much wood is important. What would I... What would you think if happen if Blizzard brings more patches, but Naga into the multiplayer? They basically have the complete race and campaign. I wouldn't say complete race. It's pretty rough. I certainly wouldn't call Naga a complete race. It's very, um, iffy, to say the least. I was going to send my Lich up there. I might just save him with base. Yellow hanging in there. I'm waiting for them to come defend this. There's blue. So time to get out of here before he surrounds me. And he's weird moving. I'm not even sure if he's going to help that guy out, but I don't want to get surrounded. Even though I'm trying to get myself surrounded in a weird way. Just running around like a last hole, basically. Getting ready to spend my gold, my resources. 
Anything up here? Yeah, he's got some militia. Just still running around, doing some scouting. Mass, oh, mass humans as well. That is rough. Oh, I'm dead. I'm not getting out of that one. That is dead. Okay, fair enough then. I'll just get my healthy death knight back the hard way. Or well, kind of the easy way, really. Not like he's going to do all that much. Don't worry. The game gets a lot easier in about two minutes. At the moment, we're playing on very hard mode. There's nothing to creep, unfortunately. No green creeps. The only thing that's nearby is either red camp or these orange camps, which ain't great, to be honest with you. So the leech isn't going to appreciate that. And if I try to go to the shop, it's going to be full with those um, creeps that mana burn you, so you don't really want to go there with your lich. Luckily for me, I got all the Huam! Are you going to get one one health? No! Orbaquam, you beast! That is ridiculous. That's what minus armor does. The imbalance begins. Are you coming to my base? No, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah. You see how I needed all those ghouls, by the way? That's five ghouls, I think. And I'm probably just going to have enough resources here. Because you've got no shredder. The shredder's over here on the far bottom left. And again, that's got those fell hunter dicks. So you don't want anything to do with those. All right, let's go. Nine frostworms. It's going to be up to 52 food. You can either kill a ghoul or maybe just save Elm. Uh, it's a tough choice, but I kind of need the wood for all the ghouls, so I can't really kill a ghoul. I'm going to set a 45 food. In fact, what I'll do is I'll get a third hero. We'll go three heroes on this. And we'll just poke again with the heroes that we currently have. They've got very kind of well-rounded armies. This guy's not paying attention, so that's a nice free kill. Or maybe not. Or maybe it is, because of the shade. <laughs> right. We're going to go Mass Frostworm soon. We're going to back off from this. Enjoy the slow that's on my Death Knight. Some free hits for that. Okay. Keep going. Frostworm's almost out. No gold yet. Oh, this guy really is holding in there. We want to do a little scout here with some skeletons. Okay. Getting ready for it. Ready for the Frostworms. Should be there. 120. Yeah, we should be good. All right, triple on the frost worms. Crypt Lord is out. Might get myself another orb just for lols. More skeletons. They're always good. Hmm. Probably best to just go for the expansions, but really I need to hit one of the humans before they get the mass tanks or humans. Uh, mass tanks, humans, something like that. Ah! Watch out. There's a lot of riflemen. Back for now. Need to find a way to get to them. Or hit them elsewhere, because they're going to go to that expansion, so I need to try to hit their expansions, make them pay, get some experience, because I need my undead heroes to build up in level, otherwise they're just going to fall apart. And we need mass mortars. Because mortars will deal with tanks and mass riflemen. What the fuck? Oh yeah, like you fucking knew about that. Nice map hat, mate. That was weird. So unless you're... You've got really fucking good keen eyes, mate. That was really fucking weird. That wasn't dodgy at all. That wasn't fucking dodgy one bit. Oh well, at least this guy's free for the gr grab, so we'll take that. Right. 
Right, go rebuild another town portal. Ghouls are really doing shit for wood now. I'm going to get a couple of healing scrolls because that will help mitigate versus tanks or whatever they might have. I'm going to sit at 80 food for the moment until about 1,400 gold. I don't even know if I can really get the wood because I want all the upgrades. Right. The Tauren are actually really nice because I don't think they have a good counter to Tauren. And now we're just going to focus a hero like a noob. He's got the town portal, so I would stun him with the impale, but it's too late for that. Oh my god! That blood mage almost went down there. Right, we're going to go for these fiends because they're going to be the biggest pain in my butt this game when we can get them. Gargs are trying to move in. This is basically GG now. This is just going to be a slaughter is what you're going to see at this point. <laughs> Told you. So we're at 1,200. Now I'm going to focus these dragon hawks like a badass. Nothing here is actually a threat to the frostworms in the army that we currently have. Focus the hero like a noob. Focus the hero like a noob. Wow, he's it. It's only the bloodlust that's allowing him to get away, I suppose. Okay, let's go for the full frostworm effect now. Blood mage, arch mage. I wonder if he had boost of speed, or whether he was just that damn fast. Might, I don't think he even had boost of speed, to be fair. Now, even if they do have mass tanks, we've still got Tauren and good, well-rounded armies, so good luck, to be honest. Almost at full upgrades. This is the part where you could start giving allies resources. Or, you may as well create like, the big stuff here, because it will die almost instantaneously at this stage. So it's just free, lap, free stuff. I think Frostworms will enjoy that. Get more skeletons. Oh, these guys really invest in a lot of towers. Oh, he's got his gyros. Is that going to be enough? We've got tanks as well. Oh, now we've got a lot of gargs. I'll try and bring those down. It's kind of hard to focus those. You just use the wrong pop, but never mind. They've got a lot of anti-air, so my frostworms might go down, but I can rebuild them at this stage. And they're not really going down as fast as I thought they would do, considering the amount of shit that's going down. Anyway, get the Crypt Lord up on these guys, because he's going to have fun versus them. Try and bring down these freaking annoying... Death Knight's almost dead. What a mess. What a freaking mess.
I think we got there in the end. Yeah, 1300 gold now at this stage. 98 food. Not much else to do with it. Just check your allies, see if they need it. Grimrock don't need it. Purple could use it. He'll still get benefit because he's underneath the uh, total max cap. Yeah, it's just a case of surviving for so long when you're doing that kind of... Instead of like, if I was going heavy into fiends, it would have been easier to defend my expansion. But it was a kind of greedy plan to mass frost worms, and that's kind of what you can get. If you get away with it, my god, do you get away with it. Here we go, no undead. They got two undead. That's enough. Hey, okay. Alright, we might go a little bit weird since last game was a little bit serious. Because, again, I know it's Captain Tryhard and all this. You're supposed to play properly. Eh, maybe I can play properly whilst playing stupidly, okay? Maybe I can Maybe I can manage that, alright? Maybe I've got the skills to do it. I, don't, I can't guarantee it for you, but maybe I can. Maybe I can't. Who knows? Alright, let's go for a farm after that. Feed you. No chance! Oh no, he wants him to feed. Oh, I see. Because you're undead and you're imbalanced. I get it. A worthy cause. A worthy cause indeed. Alright. So, we're going to be going paladin and footman. And we're going to be working on building up that paladin as much as possible. Because we know at least two of them are undead. And we could have a lot of fun with paladin. I remember actually having a lot of fun on paladin on, on this map before, actually. It wasn't that long ago I played it. So, um, it was one of the... I might have been catching try hard. It was almost like a solo paladin experience. Might be able to get to reenact that to some degree. Although I wouldn't mind getting a Mountain King second hero or something like that. Or even just Blood Mage second hero. Just keep following the... Um, I fucked that up. Following the uh, paladin. Paladin, away you go. We're going to need some units, otherwise he's going to be useless. May as well go for that fastish expand, so I can go into double rifleman and just creep the entire map. Because by the time you take to tier two and get yourself a decent army, some of the good stuff, and by some of it, quite a lot of it is already gone. So let's just try to make sure that we are uh, able to actually creep the good stuff before anyone else gets it, aka the stuff in the middle. And range can do that quite easily. All right, footman coming out, peasant would come out if I had the farm finished in time, but I don't. Go for another one, build it there, happy days. Peasant coming out, I kind of want peasant over footman because, well, expansion in it. Now we can go back into footman just about, and then back into peasant after that. Paladin's coming out. Ooh, this is going to be a bit rough, actually. I kind of want to have to wait a little bit. What am I going to create? Something crap? Something easy? Yes, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm not going to take any militia off because I want all the wood I can take. So, if we can do that, that'd be great. Keep going on peasants. Farm is almost done in the moment. Right, off you go, lads. Start it off. Send the footman in first because you can always heal it. Right, so back to footman. Back to more peasants. Then into expansion and into tech. So don't want to take too long on any of this. So that footman can be healed right now, get the full benefit, pretty much. You can always mitigate the damage by making the footman attack other things, but it's not necessarily such a bad thing to have the footman take the brunt of the damage. Back into more footmen for more creeping past this point. And then again, peasants. You scam for me, cool. What is it? Yes, what would you ask of me? Let me face the I'm not even sure if I want to use my holy light on you. I don't think I'll give you the pleasure. Alright, let's go, lads. Expect some harass from an undead, maybe. Go for another farm, just to be safe, in case this gets prolonged longer than it needs to be. Get over there, get over here. Lick this guy down. We could actually tech right now, but I'm not too sure. I might be a little bit skeptical and hold on to it for now. I'm going to hold on to all my holy lights. I don't really want to use it on militia if I can. I'd rather use it on the footman, because they're going to carry on moving with my paladin. Uh, I'm going to go do the tech. I'm just going to do the tech because I can afford it both. Just hope that I've got enough peasants and wood. Yes, I do. And then we can get an expansion as well. And we'll just find something else to creep for now. 
It's not too easy to find things to creep in the middle of this map as Paladin Footman, to be honest with you. So we'll do something a little bit lighter to begin with. Right, and then into more... Well, I kind of want to get Rifleman, don't I? Let's get Rifleman set up. Come go. Well, I'm okay with that. You could go harass. The expansion is being built. It's underway. A good defense is a good offense. Half tempted to get boots of speed for the Paladin if it wasn't for the sake that I want to get another barracks. You'll have to wait. Oh, hello. What's going on here? Why'd you run away from that? Did you sense something was coming? You want to kind of kill this guy quickly because he just pulverized that. Does a lot of damage, AOE. Oh, I can probably get that. Um, nice, level 3. I'm going to get boost of speed then so I can chase people down with Holy Light. And then we've got double riflemen soon. Blacksmith, these guys are going to go up. We're going to pump into that. And then we're going to upgrade. Ah, wow, look at this. Good day, sir, Witty. Hope you have a great one. Thank you very much for that. Oh, wow, look at this. We've got Avatar. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, cool dude. Looks like it's time to punish you. Now into Rifleman, into upgrade Rifleman, because human units are imbalanced. I was going to try and get a lucky surround. It's not going to work, really. Just do damage to fiends for now. Fiend damage is strong. So try to make sure you get the holy lights in before the coil can hit. And I'm not going to use holy light to offensively hurt them. Okay. Oh no, more undead are coming. This is why I'm going for Paladin. Okay, that reminds me, Blood Mage. See you later, Footman, you're dead. <laughs> you're not getting out of that. Oh, maybe. Yeah, not really. Okay, so we're going to just tech up again because we're lazy. Going to upgrade Rifleman and then carry on building them as well. More lumber is required, so it's not a bad idea to get improved lumber. Then we've got something to teleport to. I didn't even realize that was getting destroyed. I guess I didn't get the message. Alright, well that's something to go teleport down to, so let's go heal you up, let's go back, return to the base, pump it up again, get some towers there. Get ready to heal the equipment in case the Bowmaster strikes. And we'll just stand here, like a camping noob for now, because it's a Blade Master, isn't it? So at the end of the day, the Blade Master's going to do what Blade Master's going to do, so if you leave him to kill your units again, well... Not worth it. What I can do is actually sacrifice some of these guys, pull them over, try not to lose my rifleman to this guy over here, which is kind of unfortunate rally point. That rifleman really wants to die. You guys back onto wood here. At some point, I'm going to concentrate. Oh, look, we're going to have two players. Okay, going to need some defense, otherwise, this is going to be a really rough game. Yep, now's the time to help out. Because this game is not going to get any easier. I've given quite a lot of warning to my allies. So at some point I will expect a town portal. It's only a matter of time. It's been quite a while now. Although I see something coming up on the minimap. Taking up, we might actually go for Griffins here. Gonna heal out that Blade Master. Had enough of those fucking sleeps. I am not 
Yes, you are. Right, what I wanted to do quite a while ago is get the fucking shredder. That'll make my life a lot easier. Get that underway. Wonder man is stealing. Yeah, could go to anyone. Especially me. Bring in more riflemen, may as well. Hmm, tempted to sell it, but I'll hold on to it for now. Does he need help? How, who's teleporting? Just him? I'll teleport back to that. Oh, right. He's not got tier 2. <laughs> no town portal, then. Riflemen are still cheap and cheerful, so... Want to try to block him in if we can. If he kills that, he can escape. So we block him in, there we go. Again, no town portal to buy because that just got destroyed. We're going to have to travel back to the middle of the map. Alright, so we got the tier 3, so we can kind of aim for the big things now. Big things in life. Paladin's coming along quite nicely. Not too bad. Fuck the new team. Mortar teams coming over here, kind of brave. Not sure what they're after. Let's see if I can get a whole ton of mana out of this. God, they're so fast, aren't they? Jealous? Oh, hello there. How you doing? Still playing Overwatch? I ain't. Thank you for the subscription. Appreciate it. Ah. I uninstalled Overwatch from Rage. I uninstalled almost all my games from Rage, to be fair. Nuke them down. Nuke them down. One of them's gonna die. Paladin, don't keep getting cut off by your own units. Dude. 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 Stop that. Anyway, I'm sitting underneath the 50 food mark for ages here. Kind of being greedy. I might go for Mountain King, actually. Get the Mountain King out. It's an unusual combo for me to go Paladin, Blood Mage, then Mountain King. Normally, it's almost vice versa. So it feels weird when you go here as the other way around, because I still label them as the first one that came out. May as well go to his base, unless that's the main. Nope. Alrighty, so you guys stop what you're doing, help that out there, keep going on upgrades. You keep doing that, you keep doing that, you go into Mountain King, you go into this over here. Hmm. I guess we'll just stand here until someone town portals in. Bunch of kills. 
Need TP? Yes, can do that. May as well destroy a few more burrows before teleporting in. Ah, uh, unless it's that. Because we're getting away with a lot, and I don't know if I want to teleport to that. All oh, right. Speaking of. Back to the middle because I don't even think I have a shop in my main base. It's just been one of those games where I just never really got one. No, there, there are enough town portals, so that's good. I'm gonna sell that wand of mana stealing. Actually, I want. I would buy a second town portal, but someone's gonna need one. So I'll go north. Pick up another town portal at the north one because it might be one of those games where I need to town portal to multiple places. Apparently, we're creeping this. Hmm, not bad item. I'll give you something to do. All right, let's go. I mean, they're running away anyway because we got mass frostworms, so pretty imbalanced stuff. Three items. So these middle spots are like the really imbalanced spots. I could town portal to that. I'm not sure. Oh, let's do it now because someone else is doing it. Going to the upkeeps. Actually, stand underneath the upkeep just a little bit. Yeah, so it's another town portal. Go over to the orc, actually, because we're going to have a real easy time versus the orc. Matty, there you go, I said your name, and that was in the sexiest voice I can manage. Let's regroup a little bit. Have you rebuilt your burrows? Are you ready to lose them all? Oh, he's got one building. Lol. Oh, they keep going. I haven't given this guy any gold, by the way. So, Oh, he's got loads. I'll wait until he goes underneath. 50 food, and then we can repay him. Keep an eye on that. You know he's over 50 food, so it's not really worth it. Oh well, it looks like Yellow's out of the game. Time to tell him portal to that, by the looks of it. Go full on to 100 food. Oh shit, that's a lot of frost worms just running right in. That's so many frost worms actually. Holy fuck, that's so many frost worms. Oh. We're gonna need more than just two of us. That's a lot of frost worms. Need a little bit more than just two, boys. Oh, what the fuck is that? Alright, I'm getting out of this. We fucking lost, mate. Lol. 
What the hell? Who's missing? We are missing a lot of guys. I had like 80 army food there. And I don't know who dropped the fucking ball, but someone dropped the fucking ball. Someone dropped the fucking ball there. We are well behind. Well behind in units. Holy shit. Fucking undead, man. I told you. This is disgusting. Well, game over. Uh, I'm going to have to scrap everything, actually. Get the fuck over there. Integral, thank you for the uh, subscription. Need to make sure that one of the players is out. I kind of wanted to not have to resort to get mass steam tanks, but I guess it's going to be one of those things. I didn't tech towards it very well. Oh, now red teleports to this. Where he's... Oh, yeah. Okay, some games you're just never going to win. It doesn't matter what you do, okay? It's just the rule of it. Some games you're just not going to win. <laughs> you got to laugh at these kind of games, really. They're just, they're just awful, aren't they? Yeah, you're only as good as your strongest ally. And your strongest ally is a load of shit. That makes no fucking difference what I do there. No difference at all when you got allies like that. No chance. Okay, this is the map of the century. I guess it's time to get undead again. But yeah, someone was definitely feeding that last game. Because Purple ended up with like 11 hero kills. And I know I didn't fucking give him 11 hero kills. Someone bloody did. I don't think anyone's going to go for that. I'd be curious. Question mark, question mark. Ah, he's got a ghoul there. I can't build it there. That sucks. Feels bad, man. Let's just double build him over here then. Because that ghoul's always going to be there in some way, shape or form. Unless. Well, nice. No. <laughs> it's pretty ancient inside of the base. I don't... I think it's too late to play normal now. Well, I think one of those ancients is going up. So that's some, that's good news. Nice. I can actually get my hero now, which is almost definitely going to be a panda. And probably actually get more ancients in my own base because it'll be too late to sort of like I don't know actually let's go economy for now your building is complete your building is complete you can just have your 95 because that's basically all I can send back I can't send back any more than that I'm going to root one more ancient down and then someone's one's going to walk in so you have two, two rooted ancients and one at the back. Your building is complete. Eat that tree, get in there. Eat that tree, get in there. Right, I should have had something by the middle to get the hero out. That's my mistake there. <laughs> oh, he's out. 
That's too many ancients to have in your base. Two, maybe you can handle, but three is a lot. Three is definitely a lot. That's 45 to 55, basically 50 damage. I know someone's going to argue that. It's not 50 damage, it's actually 52.4. But whatever, 50 damage. The good thing about these guys being stuck down on the ground is they got their two fortified armor, so they're a real pain to freaking kill. Anyway, panda time. Panda. Don't dispel on me, bro. I think he might have dispelled on me. I won't last hit it. No, too late. <laughs> Bitch slapped that blade master. I want to block him in. I'm not even sure if I can block him in. There we go. Got her into position now. Just fucking create this panda. You really want to create that clearly. Unless you can get out there, but I don't think you can. Yep, he's stuck in the base. <laughs> I'm not even sure I'm going to build units. He has got a town portal. He's even got grunts. Your 
You couldn't get out anyway as a hero there, apparently. But I wasn't absolutely 100% certain if you could. But you can't on that. Moonwell and the Hunter's Hall definitely blocks. Not even the archers can get out of that, actually. That's kind of impressive. That definitely looks like archers could fit for it, but they can't. I'm surprised this game is still going. I'm not sure what it's still going for, but there you go. Solo Panda for the win. Come on then, if you think you're hard enough. Oh. Still making use of these ancients. Even to this day. I could get the Murgle. I'm not going to, though. I'm not going to keep singing. You get one off. Yeah, oh, well, I. Oh, no, Red's here. Red wants some revenge after our previous engagement. <laughs> Come at me, bro. What more do you need in life other than a bunch of sexy ancients? Were you not healing? Did you not eat that tree like I asked you to? Thank you. Let's see if I can get some wood. Oh, he's got some tower. Oh, he's got a lot of towers. That's not going to be easy. Maybe our ancients can catch up with him. And get the killing blow. Oh, that hex. The foresight hex. Oh no, these creeps don't like my shimmers. No. Let me build. You see the little arch. Is trouble brewing? We'll have to be ship free shim roost then. Another round. Look at these ancients, they look so fast now. They look kinda of freaky when they move this fast. Alright, it's time to suicide in. Need to get an awesome breath of fire at the back. Hit the raiders if you can. You're gonna do loads of damage. I think you can last hit enemy units and you'll get the experience for it. I'm pretty sure you will. Hmm, hard to tell. No, there you go. I'm pretty sure you did that. Oh, one ancient down. I think that blade master's chasing me. 
Alright. Got a couple of shimmeries up, so feeling good. He really wants to kill me. Now he wants to kill Blue. Oh, Blue's out. My ancients. Oh, hang on. One's going to survive. To tell the tale. I like it. And I can get revenge on these creeps with my shims. Don't know why I keep walking into those skeletons. <laughs> I must really enjoy them. That was an interesting reveal. Hang in there, Mr. Ancient. Welcome to free for all. Oh, thank you. He's not, not Zony. I think he might be. That's kind of a strange name. Right. Thank you very much for the donation there. I don't know who that man could be then. No idea. <laughs> that was a very interesting um, donation message. Very dedicated. I don't really want to lose any shims because it takes a while to build them back up. But I kind of need to defend this area. I need mana. Shims can't last forever here. No shim lasts forever, my son. Insufficient gold. That's not good. I don't like the sound of that. The water elementals might have it, and the slow is really good against my shims. Really good. Still got a couple of shimmeries up though. Feels good about that. Ah, he's gonna ensnare me. Whoever that is, is really trying on their, their team. Must admit that Captain Tryhard isn't trying as hard as he should be. Such is the uh, irony of said account name. Those riflemen hit quite hard. They've got some nice upgrades. They're piercing quite nicely. Oh, I don't have much of a counter for gyros. I better go deal with that actually whilst this is going on. I mean, I got the panda. He might not be enough, though. I need to go find the workshops and destroy them. Because they're what's going to kill me. Where are they? Are they at his expansion? Oh no, there's one at the... Oh, someone's teleporting in. Nah, I'm just not going to have an easy time first. Sh shit, what the fuck is that?
I don't think my Mashamera strat is going to hold up very well. Hold up, I want second hero. Yeah, I thought the Blade Master might get there in time. He's not actually going for the item though. Big mistake. We need some experience. <laughs> My shims are back! Alchemist can also hit air, which is nice. And Acid Bomb will be pretty tasty. GG, Foggy. Paladin's on my case. Oh my goodness. RIP headphones. Zooming in for that. Loud. I f oh my god, I played so bad. I had this expansion for so long. Did anyone actually mention that in the chat? <laughs> I know I put that expansion down about nine minutes ago. <laughs> Holy shit. That's pretty bad. I think that's just what happens, is I just get complacent after a while. It doesn't take me long to get complacent, just literally like half an hour of playing and that's it. Mass mountain giant strategy is pretty tough to beat. I mean, shims will beat it eventually. It re really weird if Fawn's aura from Keep of the Grove would actually throw back the Shim's lightning attack back onto them. Because that's what Fawn's aura does. Well, it works against melee units at least. 30% or 10% or 20% of attackers' damage is thrown back at them. It's basically the worst aura in the game. Everyone likes their air. Except for Mass Mountain Giant Boy. Hey, I got the mass shims now, so try hard begins now. <laughs> After like 20 minutes of play. I see. Alright, well, I got no town portal. But that might just deal with it, to be honest. Torin with Pulverize. They will probably deal with Mountain Giants quite nicely. Yeah, I think those Mountain Giants might struggle here. Oh, look, Frostworms as well. Why not? That <laughs> third on the team. That was pretty bad. That's rare of me to get third. All that missing gold as well. Ooh. And look, Caver. 1,170 gold. I guess he didn't like free ancients in his base. Right then, GG.